Hi guys, hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our SharePoint learning series. Our today's topic is task management system. As we all know, task management is a core part of any project or day at work for that matter. Every day we have new tasks that come up, get completed or reassigned to others. In our day to day scenario, I have seen people use any available medium to manage them. From handwritten notes to Excel, Outlook, MS project or some online to-do type applications. If you are looking for a simple out of the box web based task management system then this is all available in SharePoint. It has been a part of SharePoint for a while but in SharePoint 23 onwards it got a major facelift and technical improvements. Basically there are three ways you can manage tasks in SharePoint. Use built in task effort use ms project with task apart and third is using outlook today we are going to build a system using built in task apart our today's agenda will be task list configuration next task creation and updation and look up about its metadata fields next we will see task new features in sharepoint 2013 subtask creation and timeliners let's start to have an hands on experience to build a task management system. This is a site created using a published template. You can use a team site or any available different types of template as task effort is available in all site template. To create the task management system, first we have to create a task list from task template. To create a list, we have to click on site settings that is available right top side of the screen. Just click on the site settings. In that, you have to click on add an app option. This will land to your site content page. Here you can search for task list template. As you see, it is right available in the top top row in the third position. If you cannot find, then you can search it using a search box. Just write the task and put plus enter. So the task will be available. Click on this task list template. Next, an add task pop up window will appear. Here you can mention whatever task name you want to give to this list. In my example, I am giving it as tasks. And click on create button. As you see, a new task list has been created in our site content. Just click on this newly created task list. This will land us on our task dashboard page. This dashboard page is divided into two sections. The upper part is the task timeliners. We will come to this on later after some time. The next part is we will get a multiple view available here. All tasks, calendar view, completed view, grand chart, late task, my task and upcoming task. To create a new task, we have to click on new task option available here. Just click on new task option. This will land us on a new task creation form page. As you see, this all fails. It is by default mapped to task list template. All these columns are predefinedly available in task list apart. By default, only task name is a mandatory field. But you can change this all these settings as per your requirement using a list settings. Even you can add additional metadata fields or you can change uh, like in case on example I want start date due date as a mandatory field 
or description as a mandate field this all as per your business requirement you can change it let's look on the task list settings page you can go to a list tab list settings if you see here all these columns are predefinedly mapped to a task app part in case you want to create a new column for your business requirement you just have to create a column define the type like in our case i will set as assigned to has a mandatory fields apart from task name i am keeping assigned to should be a mandatory fields so click on yes and okay so this has been i have basic template i have modified it now let's go and create a task once again we will click on new task to create a task so this is the task form if you see now apart from task name even assigned to is a mandatory field both is available star icon is available indicating as this both fields are mandatory fields if i try to submit this form now it will give me an error it it is mentioned that task name and assigned to both should have a value you cannot leave it as a blank as you see task name is a free text field start date due date is a date time picker assigned to is a people picker complete box is a percentage complete numeric description is a multi line free text field predecessor will have a list of all the tasks available already created you just have to add that pre filled uh, predecessor list and map to this current task next there is a priority it's a drop down it's just uh, mention like a high low medium based on the priority you can execute your task and last not the least the task status it has predefined fields like uh, predefined values like not started in progress complete deferred waiting on something else this is to indicate where the current task stands just to indicate its status now i will fill this form and try to submit this first task let's give start date as today's date and end date as next week assigned to one of our user just a short description this this is a initial task has there is no task created uh, task created earlier that is why this field is blank next priority we will set is at high and task status we are keeping as not started just save this form once the form is successfully submitted it will redirect to all task page or i can say a task dashboard if you can see the one we created a task is available under all task list all task list view the more task you will created it will come up here one by one each task has multiple properties assigned to it to see properties you can click on the ellipses that is available next to a task name this will give you a short pop up window describing about the task like task name is defined here in this is the site name this is the list name it is assigned to user and it also describes that seven days are pending to for the task completion apart from that there is a url that is mapped to to the form there are other options also open add to time sheet create sub task and again in the ellipse option there are you can edit this view item task item uh, edit this task item get the compliant details attach to a workflow alert me share with or delete the item to edit any task there are two options are available 
directly you can select the particular task and go up in the task and just create the edit item there is one more option you can click on the ellipse then on the second ellipse there is an edit item so in this format there are two ways where can we can edit a available task now as you have seen we completed creation a new task now we will try to update this task now let's change the task status to in progress and try to save the form and let's see what happens now once the task is updated successfully we will again come back to our task dashboard you can select that particular task and try to view it as you can see i changed the task status to in progress but i did not updated any completed field value it is auto updated to 50% so by default this functionality is available built in by marking task status to completed or in progress or partially completed it will accordingly map a percentage to a complete percent field value it is vice versa if i put up a 50% value it will take task status as in progress or if i select in progress or completed then it will update percentage complete as 100% this is a built in feature is available by default in a task app part as i already mentioned there are multiple views predefined available in task app part like all tasks this will list down all the available tasks in the task list completed tab will only show us the task that has been completed late task will show us the task that is overdue my task this view will only show me the task that is mapped to me upcoming task will show me that the, the task that is will be coming up in the coming days this is all the default view that is provided built in you can also define your own view or you can modify this available view by clicking on the list and modify the view you can change all the settings like if in my case i want to add a start date as a third field so you can modify it as per your requirement you can change the columns or you can filter it out based on the con uh, based on your conditions this depends upon all your business requirements there is one more functionality that is already built in available is like take an example we created a task and we want a few, we want that there should be an email into mention to the user whom we have assigned the task so to make this available we have to do some modification configuration in list settings let's go to list list settings under advanced settings there is an option email notification send email notification when ownership is assigned to or when an item has been assigned so we will select it yes and click okay so now whenever i will create a new task and assign some users once the form is successfully submitted an email intimation will be notified to user regarding that a new task has been created and assigned to you if i create a new item then i will get A alert message here specifying that the content of this item will be sent an email message to this person or a group assigned to the item. 
but for this email trigger we should configure an outbox email settings in our central admin it's a mandatory unless you configure it there will be no email trigger suppose in case like as a user you have created a task and you need an alert like what is the status if somebody has updated or modified any field and you want alert yourself then you can do that also you can alert yourself like if there is a modification in some column values or something or if the task is completed etc etc to do this select the ellipse that is available under task name just select alert me so this alert will be created to that particular task here you can give a title to that task like i can give alert first task now i have to specify the account to whom the alert should be triggered we can specify by either email or by text sms now we can set the condition in which stage we want this alert should be triggered like anything changes or someone else changes the item or someone else changes an item created by me or someone else changes an item last modified by me or someone else changes an item that appears in the following view so you can select that view so you can select one of the options and next when the alert should be triggered like send a notification immediately send a daily summary like in a day how many people has updated you combine the complete report and send or you can schedule for a weekly like a weekly at what day and what time you want this trigger you will get a complete week report even in the dailies you have to specify the time when you want the report once you specify all the values you submit it okay as i already mentioned to make this alert to work we have to specify our outbox email settings in the central admin against a web application also there are some new improvements in appearance of the task list like take an example i am editing this task and i am trying to set its due date and start date as yesterday and save it now if you see it is giving me alert mentioning that in red color it is overdue so this has been the new feature has been given for the appearance improvement stating that this has been overdue next there is an already checkbox available to mark this task has completed just select this checkbox the the one task we have selected will be marked as a completed if you go and see in the view it will state the task status has completed and the completion percentage will be 100% this is the second appearance improvements happened in 3.2013 as you see once i completed it is striking out so this is the third appearance improvement that it will strike out the completed task this we can disable this strike out feature if we don't want like it is not appearing good or there or our end user might get confusion so we can stop this strike out feature also just we have to go to task sorry task list and modify the view inside modify the view in style section you can see show completed item is strike out struck out you just have to uncheck it and click okay 
you can see now that strike feature is gone out so this was some of the improvements in the appear of task li list of the task now we have completed the task list configuration we created the task we edited and also we saw some of the views and some of the improvements in the look and feel of the task list our next topic will be to create a task sub task this is the new feature that was introduced in sharepoint 2013 onwards a sub task creation under a main task when you click on the ellipse next to a task name you get an option to create a sub task once you select that option you are immediately switched to a data sheet view which is now called as edit quick edit view as you can see an empty row is inserted under the item which you had like to create a sub task let's give the value to a sub task like first sub task 1 start date will be an example from today till tomorrow and user will be an just press the enter as you seen a pop up appears every time when we create our first sub task this will intimate like we have added your task to a timeline you can add other task through menu so the first one the sub task you created its default will be added to the timeline now i will create a second sub task sub task 2 date will be from 21st to 22nd and the user will be now i created a sub second sub task but this time it is not by default added to a task line or it is because only the first task will be added by built in task app part now i will create a third sub task from 24th till 25th and the user will be as you see now i will try to stop editing this data sheet view see the new items all the subtasks has been created and a little row appear to the next parent task a little arrow will appear indicating that this is a parent task next i will select one task you go to task and select the outdent option once you click the outdent option you can see a sub task has been created as an main task again if i select it and intent
I will select the third task and say it as an outdent and try to stop editing the task. You can see now the other two subtasks has been created as a main task and only subtask one is under the parent task and all three are now the main task so in this way you can create a subtask and trace it according to the main task defined in this way we can create a subtask next future we will going to look is timelines as you seen as i mentioned earlier also this is one of the interesting features were added in task in sharepoint 2013 each task list new has a default view that contains a graphical timeline at the top of the list when a new task is created you have option to display that task on the timeline when you click the clips next to a task name a pop up gives an option you to add the task to a timeline or in case you want to remove here the option will come to remove from the timeline let's select the all task and go up in the task tab there is an option add to timeline as you seen once i clicked on add to timeline all the task has been updated in the timeline graph clicking on one of the task will give me a timeline tab open as there are petrol pelletro of options for changing to display configuration notice when the task in the timeline is selected there is a timeline tab in the region in the ribbon this tab lets you to configure the look and feel of each individual timeline task you can select to display each task as a bar or an outliner let's select one task and i will try to change its background color let's select second task and i will change background color to or something to dark and i will change the color to white and select the third top task and change the background to and the four color to white in this way i can change the look and feel of each individual task even there are option like i can unselect the task date so there will be no task date will appear as you see today bar is appearing if i unselect today's bar it will not display on the bar line if i mention start and finish so it will specify the start and finish date you can also change the date and time format now this is the showing a particular task as a bar i can change to display it as an call out i can modify i can set it here even i can change the color to to whatever as per my requirement or something with darker colors and again particular task i can it's a start task i can mention it as a call out and then change the four color background color everything so this will give me easily representation of the task and better understanding about my timelines with a graphical representation Now, if I want to remove 
some of the tasks from the sublime to just have to select it and remove from the timeline you can see the task is not available in the timeline so these are the new features that been added to 6.2013 task apart that is a sub task creation and a timeline here i come to the conclusion of our today's topic and i want to just uh, summar up summar out summar out what all things we have done today first we configure a task then we saw metadata of the task list we created a task we updated the same task and then we modified the view then we saw the new appearance improvements in sharepoint 2013 then in the next stage we learned something about new features that been added in sharepoint 2013 task report that is a sub task creation and a timeline hope you all had a good time and a good learning about task management system thank you guys it has been a wonderful session thank you